Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we are exploring, explaining, and debunking everything that goes behind the Ordinary's facial oils. This is part of a series where I take the product ranges from the Ordinary, sort of explain which one is best for you and your skin type. I've already covered the retinols from the Ordinary, and I've also done the antioxidants from The Ordinary. I will link them up there if you do want to explore any of those videos alongside this one. But today we are talking all things face oil. I kind of think these are the unsung heroes of The Ordinary's skincare collection. They're the products that we don't really talk a lot about. You know, everyone's fixated on their amazing exfoliants, the fantastic serums. We don't really talk about face oils in general enough, in my opinion, certainly not on this channel. So we're going to correct that today and we're going to explore the eight face oils available from The Ordinary. Now, there's a few misconceptions. Let's just, before we get into it, let's just clear up a few misconceptions. One, that you can't use a face oil if you have oily skin. Trust me, I'm oily, I'm acneic, I'm blemish prone. I just have to use the wrong product and it's like breakout central. And yet I can still benefit from a face oil. So let's dispel that myth. There is plenty of oils in this collection which will work for people with oily acneic skin, providing you choose the right one. We also seem to get into this misconception that kind of feeds into that, that all face oils are the same. They're not. They have different components and different ones work differently for different skin types. And so hopefully this video will just help you to work out which is the right one for your skin type and the concerns with your skin that you're trying to address. Finally, you guys are going to ask me in the comments, I just know it, where do I put my face oil? That must be like one of the most frequently asked questions. Where in my skincare routine do I place my facial oil? Well, it goes right at the end after your water-based serums and you can either use it before your moisturizer and top it off with a moisturizer or you can mix a few drops in with your favorite moisturizer. That's my preferred method because I find it just absorbs a little bit easier that way. It cuts out a step in your skincare routine and I think it just tops off your skincare absolutely beautifully. So my preference is a couple of drops of my favorite oil into my favorite moisturizer and I just put it onto my face and you just get that extra high hydration and those benefits from these beautiful oils. Now, enough waffle, let's get straight into it. All of these products are, as with all products from The Ordinary, are cruelty free. They're free of synthetic fragrances and colorants, which is a ding, ding, ding before we even start the video. And um, they're also coming in at a great and affordable price point. It kills me when I see people spending a fortune on face oils. I think people assume, because it sounds bougie, oils, it, they sound more expensive, that you have to pay a lot for them. You really don't. These are all coming in at the £10 or $15 or under price point, which is amazing. And this is really what you need to be spending on a face oil. These are beautifully formulated and you really don't need to be spending much more. However, if you don't want to shop with The Ordinary, my descriptions of all these different types of oil do apply if, if you buy the same oil from any other company. Just make sure that the products are cold pressed and organic if you can get them because um, that'll just make sure you get the maximum eff efficacy from the oil that you're applying. So, kind of wondering where to start in this video and I think I'm going to start with, I think, the best formulated of all The Ordinary oils and that is the B oil. I mentioned this in a previous video and loads of you were like I've never heard of this and it baffles me that there is not more hype about this product because it is a beautiful formulation it's like a buffet of oils a mixture of everything all in that's just going to give your skin so so many benefits so in this which is the only one of the oils which is actually a blend so a buffet of oils you get a flawless mix of argan oil marula oil ro rose hip seed oil which I love and you get 12 other oils as part of this that is a fantastic bougie concoction of oils which actually doesn't cost the earth which I love. The main reason I love this as well is because it does have algal extracts in here which are fantastic at calming and soothing the skin. Some of the oils in here as well are also going to help with um, sun-based sensitivity so people that tend to get um, increases in sensitivity in their skin as a result of sun exposure can really benefit from this as well and it's just a really really nice oil. In terms of who this would apply for, because of the mix, all oils contain two key um, fatty acids, which is linoleic and oleic. Now, linoleic um, fatty acids are fantastic for oily skin, Oleic acids are great for dry skin. The reason linoleic works really well for oily skin is it's lightweight, it's non-comedogenic, and it sinks into the skin. It's a drier, um, it adds a dryness to the oil. Um, oleic um, acid is much, much more um, thick, occlusive, and really, really hydrating for the dry skin. So when we talk about these as we go along, that's why some are more appropriate for dry skin and some are more appropriate for acne and oily, um, oily 
oily skin. In terms of bee oil, it is much more rich in oleic acid, and so it's better for people with dry skin. The only people that I think can't benefit from the bee oil is people with very acneic, blemish-prone skin, because I think it might be a little bit occlusive and a little bit comedogenic if used too frequently, so I'd give it a miss. But for everyone else, this is a dream product. It's going to hydrate the skin and give you that gorgeous plumpness that we all crave, but it's also going to really work to tone down any redness and any sensitivity of the skin. So it's just really, really nice. The only drawback from this, the only drawback is it does come as because it's got the algal extracts in there with a slight fishy odour. Not to everyone's taste, but it does disappear after about 30 seconds. So it's not one of those odours that you put on your skin and lingers for days. You put it on and about 30 seconds later, it's disappeared. So whilst I'd rather it wasn't there, I actually think putting up with it for 30 seconds is better than then putting some synthetic fragrances in here to mask it, which can create sensitivity. So I think put up with the fishy smell and just bask in the gorgeous, gorgeous hydration that you'll get from the Ordinary's Bee Oil. Love this product, 10 out of 10. Now, obviously, that wasn't applicable for people with oily skin. So the oily amongst us, do not worry. I have a recommendation for you, and that is rose hip seed oil. I actually did a whole video. I love this product so, so much. I did a whole video on it, which I will link up there. And I recommend you check that out if you're interested in this oil, because there's more detail in that video than I can possibly squeeze into this one without making it like 40 minutes long. I love rose hip seed oil. As somebody who is acneic and breakout prone, I avoided facial oils for the longest longest possible time i just thought they're not for me i didn't like the idea of putting oil on an already excessively oily skin it, it just didn't didn't work for me and i was missing out for years because this is packed full of linoleic acid which is great because what that does is me gives it a dry consistency so you put rosehip seed oil on your skin and it disappears without a trace in about 30 seconds it doesn't leave you feeling greasy or like there's an occlusive layer on the skin which is absolutely fantastic if like me you do suffer with breakouts. This is a stunning product. And what I think makes this unique and why it's so great for people who have breakout prone skin is not only is it non-comedogenic, which is crucial if you are prone to breakouts and clogged pores, but it also is the only one of the oils we're mentioning today that has trace elements of transretinoic acid, or commonly known as retinol, which is going to work fantastically to just help suppress the uh, breakouts that you can get, increase cellular turnover, which is going to mean that you get less clogging to the pores, and is beautiful, beautiful. This is cold pressed, which again means you'll get that massive maximum efficacy from um, the oil itself because if you heat treat um, or heat extract oils you can leave, um, lose some of the potency from the oil itself it can become a little bit denatured but you won't get that with this it is a beautiful beautiful product anyone who has oily skin I would honestly recommend that they look into the rosehip seed oil and to me the way that this transforms your skin is if you're on a super strength retinol, say you're on adapalene like I am um, to calm a breakout, you might be on tretinoin, you know, something that can lead to really severe dryness. By topping off your routine with a rosehip seed oil, not only are you not going to make the breakouts worse, you might be marginally improving them. And it just adds so much hydration for a thirst starved and quenched skin, which often is a side effect of those retinols this is a holy grail. So I would honestly say if you're suffering with retinol dryness, reach for this product because you will not look back. Now, moving on from an oil, which is definitely for the oily amongst us, through to one that I think is applicable for all skin types. And that's because the concentrations of oleic and linoleic acid within there are almost even, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is the plant-derived square lane oil. Fantastic, plant-derived, so vegan. Great if you're living a plant-based lifestyle. And I love, love, love this product. The reason why so many people reach for this product and love it is because square lane, not to be confused with square lean, one's with an A, one's with an A, um, is actually square lean with an E is actually um, produced naturally in our skin and is one of the key oils in keeping our skin naturally hydrated. Square lane, which is what is in this product, is slightly different but also so close to what your skin naturally produces. It's very rare to have a reaction or any sensitivity from this product, which is great. Makes it applicable to everybody. Now, a lot of people question whether this product is actually comedogenic and that is so wrong. It's because people often get confused between their two types. So square lane, which this product is, is perfectly stable and fantastic for um, hydrating the skin and will not lead to breakouts or clogged pores. It's non-comedogenic. 
square lean, which is the naturally occurring element with it, oil within our skin, when it's in some skincare preparations, it oxidizes really quickly as it's quite unstable, unstable, sorry. And as a result, that oxidized um, form of it is comedogenic, which is where this myth comes from. So this is perfect for people with oily skin or dehydrated dry skin, equally applicable and a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I think this can really benefit anybody who has a very dry skin because of the hydration levels you should get. But actually, if you are struggling with sensitive skin and you really want to pare back your routine, you don't want to include anything that might trigger sensitivity. Because this is almost identical to an oil which is naturally found within the skin, the chances of a sensitivity reaction are almost minuscule. And so you can really rest assured that if you have sensitive skin, including this in your skincare routine, is not likely to lead to an increase in sensitivity, but it will take your hydration game up so many notches. Obviously still patch test all these products. I recommend you doing that with any skincare product, whether it's something that's naturally occurring in the skin or whether it's artificially synthesized, it doesn't really matter. I still would patch test it just to make sure. Leave it 24 hours, make sure you don't have a reaction, then apply liberally. But this is a beautiful, beautiful product. Plant derived, super super hydrating and again it's just taking a pure um, oil and delivering in a gorgeous gorgeous format really affordable price point and recommend this for anyone with dry skin also suffering with a little sensitivity now we segue seamlessly on to the 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil now a lot of you all have heard of marula oil thanks to drunk elephant we have you know our lovers and our detractors from drunk elephants so i'm not getting into that brand particularly in this video but all of their products contain this um, virgin marula oil and they cost a fortune if you reach for the drunk elephant virgin marula oil you're paying upwards of 80 pounds 90 dollars ridiculous you can get this product for literally one eighth of the cost of that and why would you be paying more when it's in this set in effect the exact same thing marula oil is a really nice oil to have in your skincare routine and this is why i do think you know the craze for drunk elephant when it first came out really took on because it's a product it's an oil which you didn't see commonly appearing in skincare or on its own um, as something that you could add into your skincare routine what I think really adds benefit from using this oil is it's packed full of oleic acid, which is what is required for keeping that hydration level in dry skin. You know, it's a really rich and moisturizing acid. So by adding this to your skincare routine, you're going to be getting a really deep hydration. It's also packed full of antioxidants, which are really good. So if you have, you know, slightly, we call mature skin. I hate that term. But, you know, if your skin, you found that your skin has dried as you've got older, this is a really great addition to your skincare routine to prevent that and almost reverse the signs of that. It'll be super hydrating and the antioxidants are just really nice to fight off those free radicals and those aging particles which can come into our skin, contact with our skin, oxidize and create oxidative stress to our skin cells. Love, love, love this product. I won't recommend this for anyone with oily skin. I think this is best targeted, which kind of why I don't like Drunk Elephant because it's in everything. I think most of their products don't end up being that applicable for people with oily skin. That's just my preference, but I would stay away from something with this degree of oleic acid in if you have um, oily or breakout prone skin. But for someone who has dry skin, dehydrated complexion, and really just wants to get that hydration up and get that glow back to the skin, this is a fantastic way of doing it. And you also get that hit of antioxidants as well, which is why I love it as an oil, not for me, but for anybody else that has slightly older skin and is suffering with that dehydration as we get older this is the product to turn to now coming on to an oil which a lot of you guys ask me about because it's one of those sort of oils which just appeared out of nowhere and people don't really know too much about don't really understand what the purpose of it is because as you can see we're going through and we're saying some are hydrating some are better for oily skin but there are some niche oils out there which actually give specific benefits just to that oil and one of those is the 100% organic cold pressed borage seed oil I love borage it's a gorgeous plant if you've ever seen it bees go mad for it pollinators absolutely Absolutely love it so it's gorgeous to have in your plant um, in your garden it does go a little bit wild so it can grow almost like a weed after a while but I absolutely love it it's got gorgeous gorgeous blue flowers and it's just so so pretty now if you take the seed and extract the oil from it you get borage seed oil which is a really different type of oil that functions quite differently from the others that we've talked about. What makes this oil special is that borage seed has large concentrations of gamma linoleic acid. This is something that's different that doesn't appear in any of the other um, oils that we've talked about, but in high concentrations can really help with redness and sensitivity. This is gorgeous if you have itchy, dry, sensitive skin. 
adding this will help calm that down because that gamma linoleic acid is fantastic uh, suppressing that itchiness that redness and that soreness that you can get with skin that comes with an impaired barrier i love 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 this it's not for my skin type but for anybody who has red skin you know sensitivity flare-ups that itchiness this will help to suppress that and honestly just hydrate as it goes. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. It's also suitable for people with eczema. Um, lots of people reach for products containing gamma, gamma linoleic acid if they have eczema, because again, it will help to repair the barrier of the skin. It'll hydrate, which is crucial if you have some of these um, sensitivity issues, but also it will help combat some of that itchiness, which could be so, so hard to treat. So this, whilst it's a very specific group of people I think can benefit from it, it's a fantastic oil. And if if this is ringing bells with you and you're thinking actually this sounds just like me honestly try the borage seed oil because it's beautiful as a hydrator a few drops into your um regular moisturizer will just help to calm the skin deal with some of that redness and that itchiness that irritation that you get and honestly i think it's a fantastic fantastic oil for that specific set of people who uh, will benefit from this oil now we're kind of reaching the end of the ones that i want to talk you through but i have left a couple of the slightly different ones and included my absolute favorite to the end my absolute holy grail if i was to reach for an oil right now and you said which one do you want in your life I could only take one to my desert island I would definitely definitely reach for the chaya seed oil this is stunning organic which is great it's always a benefit I think if you're putting something super concentrated like this on the skin I think organic is just a nice touch you don't have to have an organic oil in your life but I think it's something extra and at these prices is absolutely fantastic the reason why I reach for chaya seed oil over the other ones which I've talked through is because it is honestly the holy grail when it comes to people with acne and breakouts. This is the one that has scientific studies to back up its benefit in suppressing and reducing the active breakouts on the skin. This is packed absolutely packed full of linoleic acid which is the non-greasy breakout supporting um, acid which often you see which you see quite a bit in the rosehip seed oil which is why also great for people with um, acne skin but this is just other level amazing I apply this um, quite regularly to my skin when I remember I, it's one of those steps I do forget but I shouldn't because honestly this is great and the scientific studies which back up the ability of this oil to help in the suppression of breakouts is out there so you're not just relying on people fangirling about this product it's got science to back it up which i absolutely love on top of the huge amounts of linoleic acid in here which is great it's also packed full of antioxidants antioxidants are great at just supporting the body's natural defenses against free radicals and oxidative stresses which can actually make inflammation worse so if you're dealing with breakouts with inflammation they can just exacerbate that so this is going to be calming as well as superb at suppressing those breakouts so if you are struggling with hydration as well as an active breakout, reach for chia seed oil because honestly, like the rosehip seed oil, it's just going to change your skincare, change your mindset and the approach that you have towards hydrators. And I absolutely love this product. Full fangirl, but there's scientific studies to back it up. So I'm absolutely proud to recommend this. It's fantastic. Now, moving on to a product which is should we just say controversial? This is because if you were looking at the Decium chat room, if you ever log on and you can look at the Decium chat room, which is the um, parent company behind The Ordinary, you have so many people saying how amazing all these oils are. They have their cult status and their followers. The one that ranks lowest in terms of its favorability online is the um, organic sea buckthorn fruit oil. Now this comes from a number of reasons and that's because I think this is a very specific oil that can benefit a very specific set of people. First off, it comes with a really intense orange colour. That comes from the carotenoids, which are in here. Um, carotenoids are fantastic as antioxidants. I absolutely love them, but they come with a very deep orangey colour. They actually, you found quite commonly in carrots, which again, give that ca carrots that orangey rich colour. But also it has a very strong odour. I don't particularly like the odour. Some people don't mind it. I just think it comes with a very, very specific, unique odour to this. Almost, a it's a little bit fishy, a little bit earthy. Not great. Again, it doesn't linger too long. But, you know, if you're put off by odours, this probably isn't going to be the product for you. This is, like, supercharged full of antioxidants. So if you want an oil which has so many antioxidants, you don't need an antioxidant step in your skincare routine, a separate step, this is the one for you. However, 
This is the only one of these oils which you cannot use neat on your skin. I've talked about, you know, all the other ones. You can either apply neat to the skin or you can mix them in with your moisturiser, depending on your own preference. This you can't. This has to be added to a moisturiser, which does make it that little bit more limiting in how you can use it. I love this product for people who have dry skin that has lost some of its elasticity. That's because of all the oils. It is the one that's highest in the concentration of omega-7 fatty acid, which is amazing for plumpness, hydration, and just trying to support with some of that collagen and lasting production in the skin so if you feel that over time your skin has become more dehydrated you've lost some of that firmness and that elasticity a few drops of this in your favorite moisturizer will really help you have to use this right though because i recommend you use it on an evening because it does leave an orangey hue to the skin not everyone's favorite look i remember do you remember those times when everyone was slapping on the fake tan and everyone looked like an oompa loompa not great. We've moved on from that. And this, I think, can give that slight orangey cast to the skin, which isn't great, which is why I'd recommend you use it in the evening. Similarly, make sure you're not sleeping on white sheets because this will transfer and stain. So it's quite a difficult product to use, which is a shame because the benefits that you can get from it in terms of the firmness and the elasticity are second to none. I just think it's quite difficult to incorporate. And a lot of people are turned off by the fact it can stain and just be a bit just not that pleasant to use. However, if you think you're, that it sounds like it's worth those side effects for the great results, then absolutely reach for this. Finally, last but not least, I'm going to talk about the one that I think has been around the longest, everyone kind of knows, which is argan oil. People all love argan oil. They were, you know, there was time when we were using it on our hair, on our nails, on our skin, literally it just everything had argan oil in. It's calmed down a little bit now and I think we've realised it's got its place but it's not the be all and end all to skincare. So the ordinary do have 100% argan oil, Moroccan argan oil, which I think is the gold standard and is really nice. It, this has the exact perfect balance of oleic and linoleic acid. It's got equal amounts of both in, which means it's applicable for people with dry skin and oily skin. But actually, I think it's probably a little bit too rich for people with oily skin and there's better hydrators for people with dry skin. So really, the only people I think argan oil is good for is people with that perfect, normal skin type. You're not too oily, you're not too dry, you just want a little bit of an oil. You might want to treat yourself, you might want to do a facial massage with an oil, or you might just want to boost your hydration levels a little bit. Argan oil is probably the oil for you. However, I think we've kind of got an argan oil craze where everyone reaches for it like it's the best oil out there i actually don't think it is i think there's so many better oils dependent on your skin type so hopefully this video has explained some of those to you you might put the argan oil to one side and move to a different one so overall do i love these products yes total total fangirl for all of these products but i hope i kind of stressed how important it is for matching your oil to your skin type if you have oily skin like me you need to reach for rose hip seed oil or chia seed oil both of those are really rich in oleic acid which is going to make sure that it goes sinks in goes on as a dry oil it's non-comedogenic won't feel greasy on the skin and are actively proven to support with the eradication of breakouts and blackheads which are absolutely fantastic so those are your go-to if you have sensitive skin, particularly if it might be a little bit itchy, red, inflamed and irritated, then honestly, promise me you will try the borage seed oil because the amount of gamma linoleic acid in there just makes it fantastic at calming and suppressing any itching and any irritation that you have in the skin. If you have dry skin, then I would push the boat out and I would reach for that bee oil. That's a perfect blend of all the oils that you need in your life to give you that gorgeous hydration, some antioxidant power as well, and just to leave the skin feeling plump, hydrated and baby soft the next day. I absolutely love that product. And I think if you have normal to dry skin, reach for the bee oil because it's just the best of all worlds. Why have one oil when you can have a perfect blend of 15? I'll leave that up to you. Wherever you are in the world, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out those other videos that I have in this series and let me know if there's any other steps in the skincare routine that you want break down. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.